All right. It's KKMS Live with Jeff and Lee here on AM 980 KKMS. More spirited talk radio. Thanks for joining us and making us a part of your days. You're driving around the highways, byways. I'm Jeff Shell, and thanks for listening. For over four years, I co-hosted a three-hour weekday afternoon talk show at KKMS in the Twin Cities. The show is known for our interviews with fascinating, high-quality guests, including authors, opinion leaders, and newsmakers in the areas of ministry, politics, journalism, entertainment, and education, to name a few. Chuck Colson, welcome to KKMS Live. Well, I'm to be with you. George Foreman. It's nice to have you, George. What's the deal with Don King's hair? <laughs> <laughs> Take all his money, and it'll, it'll go down. Our next guest is Brad Anderson, the CEO of Best Buy. Oh, thanks. Delighted to be here. So what does RT stand for? Raymond Thomas. Okay. You know, Ray yeah. Ryback wouldn't work. That was my dad. Ray Ryback, yeah. yeah. R squared. So as a formal journalist, what would be the first question you would ask yourself then as mayor? No, you'd ask yourself, why are you such a great mayor? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. How did you really get this good? Yeah. <laughs> what does it take to be a good mayor like you? When it comes to discussing politics, rather than generate a polarizing discussion, I believe it's important to provide an understanding of the political issues facing us these days and their potential impact on us. Ambassador John Bolton. Glad to be here. Thank you. Joining us right now is Al Franken. He's Welcome back to KKMS Live. Al, it's nice having you. It's great joining you guys. Hey, Dora, i got to ask you a question because you were involved with the Y River negotiations under Clinton and trying to negotiate or did a negotiate agreement between Israel and PLO. You were with Netanyahu, right. Yasser Arafat on the other side. What is that like? I can't imagine sitting in a room and you go, do this, and they say, no. Uh, you do this, and you say, no. I mean, <laughs> what happens in these negotiations? How do you actually come to an agreement when there are such differences in opinion. Well, one thing with those agreements back then, they were based on reciprocity. So you say, okay, I will do A if you do B, and then I will move on and do C if you do D. I'm also interested in talking with those whose opinions differ from mine. It's through these exchanges that we can better understand one another. August Berkshire is the president of the Minnesota Atheists. Nice having you. Well, thanks, Jeff. Representative Els, were you born into a Muslim family? My family is Catholic. My brother's a Baptist minister. family I grew up in uh, allowed everybody to um, uh, explore spiritually. I'd like to have a truly open and honest dialogue about racial issues. The white people today are dealing with the sins of their forefathers who, who had those slaves and now there's this dynamic that was created years ago that, you know, we're all dealing with today. So right, and that's unique to the black experience because we've not had Asian slaves brought over from Japan or China or something like that. Right. It didn't have the Jim Crow laws for yeah. other types of um, races. And so it's a unique experience to blacks. I strive to provide consistently compelling content and to do it in an entertaining way. The Senate voted to apologize for slavery on June 18th. That was of this year. The House apologized last summer. I'm reading something from CNN here. Uh, Jeff, can but, I ask a question? Yeah. Who, who did they apologize to? You. <laughs> no, they didn't. <laughs> I, they didn't call you up? No, they didn't. Call, they should have called everybody. Well, see what I'm saying? You didn't even know I about this. I didn't know this. about this. What's up with that? I got to ask some of the other brothers. <laughs> Lee and I are always open for dinner at the governor's mansion. You can always consider that. Thank you. Thank you, Ted. <laughs> well, as we say, we'll take that under advisement. <laughs> <laughs> Headlines were awesome. i got to get a copy of it. You have me rolling in my car. Well, finally in the news, I've run into this situation before, and how do you tell a guy they stink? You do it like this. You stink. Or. <laughs> you stink. Or. He stinks, and I don't like him. Those are a few ways. <laughs> I also think it's fun to talk about what's happening in the entertainment industry. I'll provide a review of movies. I like to talk with comedians and actors as well as musicians because they bring a unique perspective to life. Welcome to KKMS Live, Chuck Norris. Oh, thanks a lot, you guys. It's a pleasure to be on your show. You know, it's a pleasure meeting you as well. And uh, I just got to ask you at the top here, do you get a kick out of uh, Conan O'Brien uh, and the way he uh, jokes about you? And, uh, things <laughs> like and, and it's okay, it's only got four chords in it, no big deal. Mm -hmm. And so, okay, let's do it. So we pushed the red button and recorded it in one take. Wow. And, and I wanted to redo the vocal track because, because I'd, I'd uh, lost, and there's a place in the song where I go, ah, you can't twist the truth. And the reason I went, ah, is because I lost my place in the wrinkly paper, you know, with the words on the paper. <laughs> I'm going to go to that part of the song and listen to that. That is funny. Just contemplating, I can't twist the truth. I can't twist the truth. It knows no regulation. One of my daily objectives is to impact the listeners so that they come away thinking they're better for having listened to the show.